Okay, hello guys. Welcome back. I said I was going to do a follow-up video on these bait boxes. And let me show you what these bait boxes look like. I'm going to come up close for you. These bait boxes are just a simple, simple design. It's the little hatch you open right here. And you put your bait in there. And whenever you want to close it, you just crease it back over. And this side is fully covered with wire. I already covered it up and it fits perfectly inside of this right here it goes straight into there and whenever you have your bait it'll go it'll it'll be all bloody and they it's in there and they can't eat it they can't physically take your bait so you just take it out and whenever it's rotten you just dump your bait out and you put more in and you can use venison liver you can use um chicken necks uh no pork no hot dogs you can use dry dog food because uh it's a bait box which is which means they won't be able to eat it you can use beef melt beef melt's a really good one Vis venison liver is a very good one um fish heads all this other kind of stuff gas um any type of brim, catfish, catfish tails are good because they bleed a lot. All this kind of stuff. And we're going to teach you how to make one because it is, if you, if I measure it right here in front of y'all, it is 7 by 9, um, a 7 by 9 square type thing. And I flattened it out before this video and I'm just going to keep this as an example uh, as this bait box is in here. And I'm just going to keep referring to that through the video. And I'm going to put this one inside of there just like I did my other one. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to make a cylinder, a very rough cylinder, because we're just going to flatten it out anyway. So we're going to crease it over. See, I'm creasing it into a cylinder. And um, you want to make it, since we're using quarter inch holes you want to make it go overlap by two holes and it should be about like that overlapped and then um this is going to be a very short video i don't know probably like four or five minutes but because of these are so easy to make and i have another um nine by nine by seven inch square sitting over here but I'll make that I'm just gonna make that off camera I'm not gonna make that in this video though and you just want to get your wire and you want to wrap it up like we did on that the pillow trap video and you just twist it just like we did in the video right before this as you can see um it's the pillow trap that we just made five minutes ago that I'm using these bait boxes in. So, um, this one's going to go in a different pillow trap, which is sitting over there. And again, it's still nine inches exactly. And again, we're using the same wire from the hardware cloth that we used last time. So we're still saving money and these only cost you the same amount because you're still using the same hardware cloth which is extremely good and um same same thing on this other side you know you just twist it over again and don't don't put any wires in the middle because that because that's like if a minnow gets in here you don't want minnows just staying in there and eating your food so they got like an escape hole for them and oh my band-aid stuck i had a I cut my finger. And you just want to make sure you pick up all this excess because it'll it'll cut you very badly on your foot or something like that. And make sure you clamp these edges down right here because these will get in the way of whenever we crease it. Okay? So let me just clamp this edge and we should be good going to the creasing part. Now you want to make this pretty flat like this. You know, it's not a cylinder anymore. It's more like a rectangle and you just 
fold one side over. And that's the side you'll put the literal bait in and then you'll close one of these sides and you'll wire the entire part on top right here. You'll wire all this up so that they really can't eat it. And it's not too hard. It only requires like three, four twist on each wire on here. And, um, make sure you like this video. It's a very good video for a follow-up of these pillow traps that I made because they fit perfectly. The uh, five by, I mean the nine by sevens. And if you make them exactly how, um, I'm telling you how, then you'll, ca I guarantee you, you'll catch six to seven crawfish in each. I'm guaranteeing you this, but it has to be um, a good time in the season, good weather conditions, like rainy, humid, all this kind of stuff. And um, in the summer, this is a very good trap to use. And you can't make cylinder traps in Louisiana. It's illegal. I don't know why they made it illegal, but um, this is a bait box. It, it turned out as a cylinder, but it's now a bait box. And um, as you can see, my other bait box is still in here. And let me get my other one from right here. And we're going to put the bait box in here. And I'm just going to show you it fits in all of these pillow traps. And the pillow trap from the last video, it should be 18 inches by one foot. Not two feet by two feet because we cut it too big. So it needs to be 18 inches. You might want to write this down or pause the video or something. 18 inches by one foot. And see, this fits in here perfectly. I think I said that wrong. It's 18 inches by two feet. Sorry about that. 18 inches by two feet. So sorry. Um, and see, this bait box uh, fits in here perfectly as well. And if you make them 18 inches by 2 feet on the pillow traps, then every 9 by 7 inch will work. And hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I still have to make another one off camera, and it's going to be so fun. We're going to go crawfishing today, and we're going to um, have a great time. Hope you like this video. Make sure you subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.